let's check out what's happening in Grahamstown with the Standard Bank Young Artist Awards. For 11 crazy days each winter, the sleepy town of Grahamstown comes alive as it hosts the National Arts Festival. The first festival was held in 1974 and the event has flourished to become the biggest showcase of music, drama and art on the continent. It takes years of work and commitment to develop artistic talent. The long-term vision and funding support of Standard Bank has been a driving force in the growth and success of the festival in the last 30 years. The arts are part and parcel of the soul of any society. There's nothing that comes close to the thrill of hearing somebody sing or perform live. You get to really get to know yourself and tell stories that will definitely make an impact. Standard Bank has made a long-term commitment to the arts over many, many years. There's no point in jumping from project to project because ultimately there's no benefit in it as a sponsor or for the recipients, the artists or the arts organisations. One of the biggest benefits of the festival for individual artists are the prestigious annual Standard Bank Young Artist Awards. It's an award specifically designed to help a young artist at a crucial stage of their career. Young Artist Awards belongs to the National Arts Festival. It's a project that was established through the festival in 1981. And when Standard Bank became the title sponsor of the National Arts Festival in 1984, we automatically became the title sponsor of the awards. And it is something that we have proudly supported over a period of 29 years now. The awards consist of five, sometimes six awards made to relatively young, established artists who are becoming well-known nationally, internationally, but they are not big, big names yet. The main focus of the awards is to give the winners the opportunity to showcase a new work at the festival. Shane Cooper is a young double bass player who was busy making a name for himself when he got the news. He was this year's Standard Bank Young Artist Award winner for jazz. I was quite stunned because I was like in the middle of a mixing session. It was weird. I didn't know what to do, but yeah, it took me by a complete surprise. Shane started off playing rock guitar with his brothers, but was soon drawn to the sounds and styles of jazz music. I uh, grew up in a very musical family, there was always great music around. When I went to high school, uh, there was a jazz band in the school that offered me a position playing bass and slowly grew into the music and eventually went and got into double bass. It was the small ensemble stuff that I liked. Ragtime, Dixie, Swing, the Blues, no matter the name, all jazz players agree on one thing. Jazz is never playing the same piece the same way twice. There has to be an element of improvisation. You listen to the records, you write the music down, you work out what they do and they improvise. You focus on the things that move you and you unlock the recipe for that and apply it to your own music and your own playing. We're not like sleeping till three every day and getting up and drinking and living in smoky jazz clubs. And as a jazz musician, you work with different artists all the time. It's never one set band and that's the beauty of it. So on any given week, I'll be rehearsing with different artists. I'll be practicing at home. I'll be working on different elements of my instrument. There are very few jazz venues. It's a constant struggle in the country. So being ready and, and being you know, prepared with music and, and what you want to do means that when an opportunity comes up, you can take it and then hopefully that leads to more things. I think there's a bigger jazz audience in this country that hasn't heard the kind of jazz that might appeal to them yet. So when I've got my friends who are really into rock music come to our shows, they're like, is this jazz? They didn't expect it at all. They're just like, oh my gosh, like, oh, this is fire. This year's award has already led Shane to new opportunities, with support to produce his first CD and national attention to his growing career. They funded my new album and gave me shows at the Grahamstown National Arts Festival, at the Joy of Jazz Festival in Johannesburg, and gave me a lot of press. In the jazz world, you don't make enough money to hire a publicist, you know? So having this for years is a huge help. So I need the music to be heard, and hopefully get people to the shows. Then I can play the band. Oh.